Today's the fourth. Um, I need to go get my nails done. It's a decent amount of time this morning. I really wanted to wake up and go to the gym. It's Saturday, by the way. I wanted to wake up and go to the gym, right? I need a little piece of Velcro on the bottom of my camera to hold it steady while driving. Otherwise, it falls and that ain't good. But um, I wanted to go to the gym today, but I didn't make it, so I'm not gonna beat myself up about it. I think Monday, no, it's not a holiday. I'll be there on Monday. This gym is not like uh, one of those traditional gyms that's open all the time. This one is just like a CrossFit circuit training kind of place, you know, single owner. Y'all saw the owner? Ooh, girl. Mm. He cute or whatever. <laughs> So, I'm gonna go in here and see if I can get my nails done. I didn't call my friend to see if she was available. So hopefully, she is available. If not, it's gonna be a problem. It says open. It says open. It is such a gloomy day out, y'all. I had to run into the grocery store and get everything that I needed for dinner. Um, oh, did I show y'all my nails? You probably won't be able to see it. I'm gonna have to show y'all in a better light, but they're like matte and then I always like a little bit of bedazzlement. I had to run into the store and get stuff for dinner. Wait till y'all see what I'm making for dinner. I'm really excited about it. And before I go home and make lunch for my kids, y'all know I gotta stop at Starbucks and get my superpower, my secret super ammo for life. Cause I gotta go home and edit some videos, make lunch, and then after I get done um, editing, I will start a portion of dinner and that's pretty much it for today it's a pretty gloomy day i was i wanted to get out and take my kids to the park today but this weather is crazy this weather is so nasty looking but it's still a blessing it's a beautiful day we are alive um i would like to have a mango i always get this wrong the refresher yeah, with a mango dragon fruit refresher? Yeah, with lemonade. You got it. And I want the largest one you got. The largest? Yeah. Alright. And that's it. That's it for you? Okay. That's it for you. We'll see at the window. Thank you. Yeah. So, um... Oh, yeah. I wanted to do something outdoorsy with the kids today, but it's raining. So, we're just probably going to be in. They're going to play with their Christmas toys. Um... And I think that's pretty much it. But I'm just excited about dinner. Dinner is going to be good. I'm really disappointed that I did not go work out. There's two classes on a Saturday. There's an 8.30 class, which I didn't know. And there's a 10 a.m. one. But 
I could not get out of the bed. Well, I could. I was actually like laying awake, but I was enjoying the kids being back and, you know, just laying there with them. So, probably could have, but I'll be back on Monday in the gym. <sighs> but now we got to get back home, unload these groceries, and do a little bit of work and all that jazz. Thank you. Ooh, that's a big one. Would you like red feet? Nope, that's it. Thanks. Jojo, yeah. I love your hair, girly. Thank you. Your hair has really kept. No, it's because Gigi put something in brown in it, and I thought it the it was raining in the house. Oh, some some hairspray, some uh, no, some nice shiny hair. hairspray to keep it's your not braids. Hairspray. But Jojo, you got your hair done um after Christmas, and it still looks great. I love what Gigi mm -hmm. did with it to refresh it. Mm -hmm. I like you with braids, girl. You look cute. Mm -hmm. See, it's so easy. That way, you don't have to go. Get your hair done all the time. Jojo does not like getting her hair combed, child. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> it's annoying. It's annoying? Yes. It's annoying. It's annoying. I hear you. Where's the light? Okay. What am I trying to say to y'all? I always have to gather my thoughts. What is she trying to say while the camera runs? Several hours later... I am truly disappointed because I did not finish editing uh, the video. I wanted it to go up today, but it'll just have to uh, get pushed off until tomorrow. I'll finish it after dinner because otherwise ain't nobody going to have nothing to eat up in here if I stay behind the computer just, you know, editing away. But I'm really excited about this meal that I was telling you all about that I got from the grocery store. I love salmon. Um... It's probably one of my favorite fishes to eat. Say that 10 times fast. But I got this recipe from a conglomerate of people. Um, and I really want to try it. I've cooked salmon pretty much the same way. Every time I make it, I always do like a uh, sweet teriyaki or a uh, sweet bourbon glaze with some mango salsa on top try that that's like one of the best ways to eat some salmon it's really easy to make with a side of uh rice or whatever you want to put on the side but today i'm gonna try a different glaze slash marinade come on focus camera focus man and we're gonna see how it turn out and if the whole family loves it i think everybody's gonna like it i am preparing a whole filet I'm getting a text from my sister and my cousin. We in a whole group chat, y'all. We in a group chat. Do y'all have group chats with your family? We do. Anyway, um, but I'm preparing a whole filet of fish. Not fish filet from McDonald's, girl. <laughs> uh, but a whole filet of fish. I'll show you guys. And a side of jasmine rice accompanied with some uh, condiments that I'm going to toss it with. Some fresh like some fresh um, sauteed garlic and cilantro and I'm gonna sprinkle it with some lemon and a side of either sauteed vegetables or I may bake the vegetables alongside the fish. I'll probably saute the vegetables just to get it over with. But anyway, oh, girl, y'all said y'all wanted the cooking videos to come back. So the cooking videos are going to be incorporated in the vlogs just because it's a lot to try and do the vlog and then the video and then I would never upload anything or get anything done so it's just gonna be incorporated in the day to day goings on so I'm really excited about this meal I'm kind of scared because I've never made like a large piece of fish before <laughs> but I'm confident in you know my, 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 my kitchen skills and I'm sure the whole family will love it. I also have some really big oversized shrimp. I'm probably going to make a couple of those for my mom on a skewer. Do we have these skewers? I think we got skewers. We got some skewers. We got some skewers up in here, child. 
And even if we don't, I'm still gonna make the um, the shrimp. My kids, they kind of go in between of what they like with shrimp, but they they never eat more than probably one to two pieces of shrimp a piece. So that's two, four, six, eight pieces of shrimp minus Julian. He don't eat the shrimp, so that's just six pieces of shrimp uh, for the kids. To, again, they're big. And then my mom, she'll go ham on the shrimp. So I think I'm going to do it all. I don't know. It depends on how much wine I consume, okay? Every meal must start with wine. Uh, a meal with love, anyway. Like, I do enjoy cooking in the kitchen. I really do. I really do. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, I know you're going to ask me what type of wine this is. This is a very extravagant bottle that I cannot pronounce. It is called... Mmm, you got it. You guessed it, girl. And I've already started sipping on my libations. Let me check my messages and see what's going on. And then I'm going to show y'all everything that I'm using tonight for tonight's dinner. I'm so excited about this. I really am. Now, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little intimidated by this huge piece of salmon, okay? But I've already got it uh, de-skinned from the bottom. And it should be easier for me to work with. I'm just going to rinse it and pat it down with a little bit of salt and pepper. I have my lemons, my onions, my fresh garlic, fresh thyme. And I have two bags of zucchini and squash, which is just going to be for the vegetable medley. Um, and then I have two gray poupons. Darling. One is just the classic gray poupon, and the other one is the ground mustard. It's a little bit more coarsely ground. I also have some apple cider vinegar, and then the jasmine rice. I am going to cook that, and I'm going to fold it in with some butter, some fresh cilantro, and lemon juice, and oh, I'm making some garlic naan. I'm really excited. Okay, let's get started. So uh, what I have here is a quarter cup of maple syrup. If you don't have maple syrup, you can use whatever you use on your pancakes or waffles in the morning. You're welcome. And because my family likes it extra saucy, I am going to double up on the ingredients. Uh, I'm, you can use half of what I'm doing. So this is four tablespoons of EVOO. And then I'm going to use the same equal parts of the Dijon mustard, two of the coarse ground Dijon, and then two tablespoons of the apple cider vinegar. Once I have all of that in the bowl, I'll come back and add the fresh thyme and salt and pepper and cilantro. You're welcome. So I'm adding in my quarter cup of maple. Okay, honestly and truthfully, I do not use any measuring guide or utensils when I prep meals. I kind of do a trial and error, but this recipe was given to me, but I literally hate when I have to use like measurements. I feel like the meal is very constricted and it doesn't give you like your own fingerprint on the meal. So I tried to go by what the recipe called for, but when I make this again, I can already tell you I won't use apple cider vinegar. I'll use lemon juice instead for the marinade, um, like as the vinaigrette. And also, I'd probably just forego the um, regular Grey Poupon. I would use the ground coarse Grey Poupon just to give it a little bit more flavor and an extra helping of the maple syrup. Um, just because I have a big family and seasoning, we love well-seasoned things. So I would just kick it up a notch, as Emeril Lagasse says, and just have a little extra, extra flavor. Oh, and um, 
I would roast the garlic in the pan, not roast the garlic, but kind of open up the flavors of the garlic before I just added it in the sauce. Um, the recipe called for just freshly chopped garlic and then you're just gonna cook it on 425 and it will cook the garlic, but I would want it to be a little bit more released so that it can kind of emulsify with the sauce, you guys. That's just me. But this was my first time and it actually came out pretty good, okay? Just saying, we didn't have any left my family pretty much did that. Okay, so that meal turned out really good. I was a little concerned that the salmon was too big. That was a really expensive piece of salmon, first of all. If you don't wanna buy uh, an expensive piece, you can buy the slices, but it pretty much turns out to be the same price as $6 a piece times four, five, six people. Yeah, it came out to be about the same price, so. Um, that's why I got it that big because every day is a party at my house when it comes to dinner, you guys. Um, I will be making that dish. That was my first time and my first time trying that recipe. Um, I forgot to add the coarse ground uh, mustard gray poupon, the bougie mustard. Um, and I also forgot to salt and, and pepper the fish before I put the, the glaze on. I just can't got kids. Hey guys, I'm on the phone, calm down. Calm down, hey, calm down. Talking to my friends, okay? So anyway, but however, I for went that step because I don't know if you've ever like put too much salt on salmon before, it, it, there's no turning back. Salmon sops up. Um, salt so if you do choose to salt it or whatever just go light on it and just season it afterwards when it comes to salmon fish in general I like to season it with like the ground seasoning later when it's fresh ingredients everything all at once you know what I mean? but anyway turned out good there were no leftovers it was like a little tiny sliver that was enough um, for lunch the next day and it warmed up magnificently okay um, but anyway, I just wanted to come back and say how it turned out. Everybody loved it. The salmon was really, really good. It was a hit. But right now, it is hair wash day, and I'm trying to figure out my life, and I will see y'all on the flip side in the next vlog. Uh, it was hair wash day for Jojo Bean, too. Hair wash day for her Barbie. Oh, my God. Hey, girl. How you doing? Love you. So, yeah. Um, I have another... In the next vlog, I'll be making... Uh, my homemade alfredo sauce which is really easy too so turn on notifications if you are loving the cooking videos or just the, the the cooking being incorporated back into the vlogs because it is really a part of my daily life like cooking it's a big part because these people like to eat anyway i'm gonna go calm them down and put them to bed i'll see y'all later bye